What is going on guys, DBG here and in this video we're going to be talking about another budget beast. Because the Miami Heat historic packs were released, this guy is so cheap and is Udonis Haslam. Udonis Haslam was never a great offensive player for Miami Heat. Did a great job of guarding Dirk Nowitzki in Jazz 6 Finals and is one of the best Miami Heat players ever. But there's no way his stats should be this good. An 88 post fadeaway. He's a better Lamarcus Aldridge. He is just absolutely incredible. I don't know why they gave him an emerald, but they did. His fadeaway is absolutely unstoppable. He's pretty much guaranteed to score unless he's being double teamed. He can push the floor relatively well. He rebounds really well. He does nothing he does that badly. If you put a small guy on him, he's just going to fade over him every time. I didn't really get to use his post hook, even though it is rated high, I assume he'd be able to score, but in my opinion, post hooks are just very, very inconsistent. He somehow, I don't understand how, maybe it's the pass, maybe it's him, but he seems to seal very well, he gets a lot of steals, and he can just jam it. He's got a high enough standing dunk rating, which seems even higher, because he's relatively athletic. He's very, very good in the pick and roll, because he has mid-range shot. His free throw is really, really good. His release is really nice and it's very, very easy to get green releases, which is something that's very difficult to do in NBA 2K17. Defensively, he's decent. He can pass very well for a big guy. And if you put a small forward on him, he can defend them because he's relatively quick, good defender, while also being able to dominate on the offensive end. His shot is very, very good. That 88 mid-range with a nice release is extremely good. He runs the floor like a guard, he runs extremely fast and can finish really well through contact. You get a lot of and ones with this Udonis Haslam. He's got he's one of those players that gets a little bit of burst of speed. I don't know where it comes from, but when he attacks the basket he seems to get the burst of speed, like Yao Ming in 2K15 and Porzingis last year. So even though he is slow, he can still somehow get by a lot of players. He's very, very, very good at drawing fouls and he can pretty much do everything. His jump shot is really, really nice. He runs the break well, so he can either go to the basket, pick and pop, pick and fade, shoot jump shots, dunk on people, play defense, rebound. The only thing that he doesn't do is shoot threes, and to be honest, not a lot of power forwards do shoot threes. A lot of the time they do spot up in mid-range, and he's money for mid-range. So Udonis Haslam, in my opinion, is arguably the best all-around small forward in the game that you can get for under 5,000 coins and he's just 2k. I don't understand why 2k rated him so high offensively but they did and why don't we fucking abuse this. He's an unbelievable player in game and a great budget buy.